This was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Hey, what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realised she had superpowers. She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water, which was her superpower. All right. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. just in time, which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Water began to rise. Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? Oh, she liked that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. made it so difficult. Show their true colours at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed 
stroppy enough. For... His jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yes, Chris, diabolical Chris, the fiendish Christopher. Claire's downfall? If Claire was honest, and she had to be because she was a superhero, this was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Being the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. Spikes? It was new. Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. time Thomas was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. Something had altered the matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It was plotting against them. Claire finally had a nemesis. 